Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're going to be creating our uh, view controller basically our drawing view controller which is going to have pencil kit logic okay so let's go ahead and create a new folder here and uh, we're going to call this one view controller or view controllers okay and uh, we're going to add a new file here and this new file is uh, going to be Coca Touch class, and uh, we are um, going to create a drawing view controller. Okay, which is going to inherit from a view controller. All right, let's remove all the unnecessary lines. All right, there we go. Okay, so first of all, we're going to create our uh, uh, first our canvas and uh, uh, canvas is basically pencil kit canvas where you draw uh, so we're gonna in import pencil kit for this and we're gonna create lazy bar canvas pk canvas view drawing policy we're gonna make sure it's any input is not pencil only uh because we want to draw from our finger as well minimum zoom scale we're gonna set it to one and maximum zoom scale is we uh we're gonna set it to two we also gonna make sure we we disable the translate auto sizing mask into constraint so we can do our own constraints in in uh in this class or programmatic constraints in other words okay now next thing what we're going to do is we're going to create a tool picker Tool picker. And we're going to make ourselves observer for that tool picker. Okay. This is going to throw an error because we do not conform to uh, PK tool picker observer uh, protocol. So let's go ahead and create an extension for this drawing view controller and we also gonna uh, constrain or conform to uh, canvas view delegate Okay, we're gonna create a uh, basically override a function um, in this function or provide the implementation for the function that says uh, drawing did change because we wanna we wanna we wanna be notified when the drawing has changed so we can save that uh, data. Okay, the way we can actually communicate back to our um, to our uh, view model is going to be basically via a closure call so first we're going to create a drawing data which is going to be data so basically the initial data that we have created uh, just an empty data uh, that's going to be written on the canvas and uh, we're going to say drawing changed uh, this is the closure that we're going to call whenever the drawing is going to change and this closure is going to return a void. Okay, so it's going to be empty initially. And that drawing to change is uh, is going to be called uh, in this did change method. So we're going to simply say uh, drawing changed. And uh, here you're going to supply our canvas views dot 
drawing dot data representation so this is going to basically convert the canvas uh, drawing into a data representation and going to supply it back pass it back to the caller whoever is implementing that closure call okay so with that uh, we're going to simply add a sub view for canvas we're going to constrain uh, layout this sub view right and uh, then we also gonna set our tool pickers uh, visibility so we're gonna say set visible true for or first responder canvas not set visible not set value set visible or true or canvas okay all right and uh, then we're gonna say tool picker dot add observer canvas so basically canvas is gonna be the observer for any changes in the tool picker and canvas uh, this um, this view controller is going to be the delegate uh, for uh, the canvas and then we're going to make canvas as uh, first responder so become first responder okay and uh, we're going to say if let drawing so if there's any drawing existing drawing that we are getting we're going to say try pk drawing that's going to come from drawing data and we're going to simply assign that into canvas.drawing okay and uh, yeah so that's about it and uh, basically with this our drawing view controller is uh, is ready okay so drawing view controller is ready now what we need is a drawing wrapper that's going to be the ui view controller representable so let me go ahead and create a new group called views okay and here we're going to create a drawing wrapper so we're going to select a swift file and we're gonna say drawing wrapper drawing wrapper is basically um, gonna be importing from swift ui and it's gonna be a struct ui view controller representable okay and uh, we're gonna provide the type alias for ui view controller type to be drawing view controller we're going to create a manager and this manager is going to be our drawing manager and an nid which is going to be uuid now this ui view controller representable requires that you implement two functions one is make UI view controller and here we're gonna simply say let uh, view controller is equal to drawing view controller okay view controller dot drawing data is equal to manager dot get data for ID 
okay and view controller dot draw view controller dot drawing changed that closure call is gonna be basically receiving a data and we're gonna be updating manager from here with that data that we have received for the ID that we have received and we're gonna simply return view controller so that is how basically our um, data that's been written on the canvas is going to be supplied back to the drawing manager which eventually pass it on to the core data for saving okay and uh, second uh, function in this uh, ui view controller represent table is called view update ui view controller and here we're going to simply say UI view controller dot drawing data is equal to manager dot get data for ID. That's about it. Okay, so that actually wraps up uh, everything that we are going to do with pencil get. Uh, so this view controller is going to be the uh, real. Uh, host for pencil kit uh, where the pencil kit canvas is going to exist and toolkit is going to exist and then you're going to have a way to supply anything changed um, in this in this canvas uh, back to the caller and the caller is basically going to be this drawing wrapper which is a ui view controller representable um, essentially this is a Swift UI view now, uh, which can be called and it's also communicating with Drawing Manager, which is actually um, coordinating the responsibility of uh, loading data from the database and uh, for ID and, uh, and then updating data uh, for that ID back into the database. Okay, so that's the, that's the duty this uh, uh, data manager is performing. Okay. So um, in the next video, we're going to actually work on our uh, views. So we're going to work on our add new document view, which is going to be very simple. And uh, we're going to work on placeholder view, um, another simple one. And then we're going to create our content view, uh, just put everything together and uh, basically create and finish the entire experience and going to run the app and see if everything works properly. Okay, so that's going to be in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.